How to sing Take On Me by Ah ha! It's actually by Aha or Aha. Uh, the singer is Morton Hackett, and I'm Ken Tamplin. Welcome to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. Now, I did a version of this myself. I will put it in the description so you can hear the contiguous version of how I did. But I'm going to use it as the template by which I teach you how to sing this tune. Now, a couple things. First, there are a lot of people that are really afraid of the high note in this song, and we're going to talk a lot about that as we go. But it's also done in octave. So there's a lot of range, but the second half of it is predominantly all in falsetto. So it seems more rangy than it really is if you really think about it. And um, now Morton is obviously Norwegian, I believe. And so I'm not going to try to match his dialect, you know, his accent. that would be kind of silly. It almost might even make it sound like I'm making fun of him. And I don't want that at all. So um, I didn't when I did my version here. But let's just dive right in. Here's my version. And then we're going to walk through this a step at a time. Here we go. Now, that's the first verse. Few things to think about. The first thing is, is that I remember when I was doing this and I started singing it and I went back to listen to his version, there were two things I had to pay close attention to. One was to not over sing it or to use too much bright timbre in my voice because he's got a very soft, sensitive sound. The second thing, and a lot of air. The second thing is, is that he doesn't, sing it really hard at all and he sings it really snappy kind of like da 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 like the keyboards are he sings it that way so talking away i don't know what i'm to say i'll say it anyway today is another day to find you shining away i'll be coming for your love okay all right so we're going to take this in a line at a time now, this is going to sound a little weird, but as a native English speaker, I wouldn't have written the lyrics quite like that. So the phrasing is a little awkward for me, um, though I know most Scandinavians uh, speak in almost perfect English or do speak in perfect English. Um, they don't necessarily write that way all the time. You can really see that with bands like ABBA and so forth. So, but the first sign is I want you to throw a lot of air. Talking away and make it real snappy. Just Talking away, kind of like you're almost in a mixed voice, right? Um, I don't know what I'm to say, I'll say it anyway. Uh, today is another day to find you. Yes, I'm reading the lyrics. <laughs> Shying away, I'll be coming for your love, okay? Now, you saw the air that I added, and it's really snappy, very staccato, right? And the whole thing. Then we get to the chorus. Now, the chorus is deceiving for lots of reasons. The first thing is, is it seems like he's singing it really powerfully. He's not, actually, and he's not even doing that in the falsetto notes. And I think I'll probably bring some, bring some reverbs in to show you what I'm talking about in a minute. But um, anyway, let's just take on me. Let me do, oh, in fact, let me play it first. Um, let me play the version here, here we go. Cool. Now, like I said, it's a little deceiving. So take on me. Just do that a few times. Take me on. Okay. Now, he kind of leans into it on the second half. But the, the, the actual chorus is really soaked in a lot of reverb and a lot of effects. And it's really far back in the mix. So it makes it sound more powerful, like it's sung more powerful than it really is. And then... I'll be gone in a day or two. Right? So on the I'll be, the word be is chest voice, but the word gone isn't. All right? It's in falsetto. Now, the first two choruses are like so. I'll be gone in a day or two. All right, now, when he goes to the word day or two on the high note, it's deceiving also because it sounds like he's going two, 
real pinched and squeezed in the oo sound when he's actually singing o oh, or a oh, 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 oh. Now let me show you what this sounds like with some reverb on it. Check this out. I'm just gonna go, hold on, towards the end here. In a day of two. Okay, you hear all that? Hold on, let me bring this back. Hold on one second, all right. And so that's deceiving too, because it made sound, it sounds like he's got, you know, like he's killing it and he's really not. So there's the whole construct of that. So now what I teach my students is to get out their phones or recording devices and record each line at a time and pace yourself so that you don't over sing any area at all. You don't kind of run out of breath, so to speak, on any specific part. And you can do the whole song. So talking away, I don't know what I'm to say. I'll say it anyway. Today is another day to find you shying away. I'll be coming for your love, okay? Take on me. Take me on. I'll be gone in a day or two. All right, all right, now let's move on to the second verse. On this second verse, by the way, he, he does an octave below the vocals too the whole time, so it kind of gives that octave effect um, that, that was done a lot in the 80s and early 90s. But so needless to say, of all the names, but I'll be stumbling away. Slowly learning life is okay, say after me. It's no better to be safe than sorry, right? He connects them a little bit more this time and has a little more contiguous phrase singing. And he sings with a lot of mask, but really warm. I might even be over singing it a little bit. So needless to say, of all the ends, but I'll be stumbling away. Slowly learning life is okay, say after me. It's no better to be safe than sorry, right? And and that's kind of the gist of it. Now, the verses aren't really that hard to sing, okay? I mean, let's be realistic about it. Everyone really kind of freaks out about the high note, but if you over sing the verse, or if you don't relax yourself enough to where you go get to the chorus, the chorus could be problematic or challenging. Now, the second chorus is identical to the first, so it makes no sense to repeat the second chorus, but I do want to go to the third verse and into the third chorus, all right? Oh, Now, let's do this. So this verse is sung a little bit differently. And, oh, things that you say, is it a life for just to pay my worries away? You're all the things I've got to remember. You're shying away. I'll be coming for you anyway, right? He can, it's contiguous phrase singing. He doesn't start and stop the verse at all. And so, Oh, things that you say, yeah, is it a life for just to play my worries away? You're all the things I've got to remember. You're shying away. I'll be coming for you anyway, right? So remember, as you get your phone, like I said, I get my students to do this. Really listen to the way he sings it and then really try to match it, right? Now let's get to this chorus because this is different. On this note, on um, I'll be gone, he sings that full voice compared to the other two choruses where he sings it in falsetto. Let me do it first here. You can hear it. Check it out.
Okay, now, so let's do that together. It's a little tricky, so you're gonna have to pace yourself, like I said, so. Take on me. When I'm going like this, it sounds like that with my voice. So let's do this again. Take on me. Take me on. I'll be gone. All right, now he does that a couple times and then that's the whole end, end of the verse or choruses. What I did, I, like I said you guys you know, over and over again, what I like to do is I like to take things up a notch. So I wanted to showboat a little bit, show off a little bit. So listen to what I did to the end choruses here. Check it out. So I, and die, right? And I decided to take it up, and then I decided not just to take it up one notch, but do this. So I went. And I really just kind of decided to, you know, kind of shoot for the moon on that, uh, just to be fun, you know, do something fun. Anyway, gang, hopefully this was helpful. Um, I have a few more of these coming your way. I have a singing course if you're interested. It's called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else. You can find it right here at KenTamplinVocalAcademy.com, where I also have a free singing forum with over 25,000 singers in a free singing forum, all discussing how to get great at singing. All right, definitely stick around and check out my next video.